Good morning, and I hope that you are doing very well, and welcome to today's cryptocurrency technical analysis, where we are going to be diving straight into the Bitcoin chart here, going over the range that we are currently trading, as well as how one could look to trade this when we get a breakout of this range. Um, I want to go straight into the charts because, well, I mean, we all absolutely love 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 bitcoin love trading and the technicals that we have on this chart are just oh it brings me joy it brings me so much happiness i want to share it with you so let's begin so what we have right here is a descent symmetrical slash descending triangle moment almost okay well we can highlight here really clearly a high touch point number one touch point number two touch point number three and along the lows we have touch point number one touch point number two almost and then touch number three so we have three touches of support and three touches of resistance so these are both classified as valid absolutely valid trend lines the more that you touch these points obviously the weaker they generally get so you could expect a breakout of the over the next one or two touches of, of either side of the channel that we are currently trading here if you can remember back to yesterday's video and this is one that i absolutely love if you remember back to yesterday's video uh, obviously we were talking about um the range and i just want to play the segment for about 10 seconds and then we'll get back the segment of yesterday's video where we were talking about this range looking for the next trade which for me yeah you've got that little mini range and these are the mini ranges that we like really between 11,500 and i want to say 11,500 and 11,560 11,000 so we were looking at the high 11,560 let's remember that 11,560 around 11,400 okay because that's okay that's to be around 11,400 so we had 11,560 to 11,400 this is the beauty of technical analysis look at the high that we put in last night you can see the high in the top left here 11,560 dollars punto <laughs> exactly so we got the high to the exact exact dollar there pretty impressive if i say so myself Eleven thousand five hundred and sixty. so i think that's clear as day now the level that i gave you all yesterday um is the current resistance eleven thousand five hundred and sixty. boom to the dollar and then we're obviously looking at that same support in my opinion eleven thousand four hundred dollars so this is the same mini range and this is what we call like our mini ranges where we expect a range here you know 20 48 hours we got our mini range, 11,560, uh, support 11,400. You can see you're kind of bashing up against some resistances here locally. And well, you just in, you're just so tight at the moment. It feels as if you could you could easily break to the upside just as well as you could break to the downside. It's it's very 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 neutral. And this is why uh, I must say, not financial advice. There's no no official financial advice given in the video. Remember that. But what I would say is, I I personally would say this is not really the best place to enter a trade uh if, if you're looking at the uh, a range of almost here to here you can say you're about the middle of the range right now aren't you so one would generally say that's not the best place to take a trade you want to be taking your trades on the boundaries or the breakouts not really the middle of the range um see so yeah, I, I would say you have to have patience one must have patience in trading and if you do not take only the best and highest probability trades why are you trading you yeah i've said it so many times just go to the casino go and have your gambling a gambling fixation elsewhere trading is not the place to gamble because over time you will lose money you've got to trade the charts very systematically very methodical and very you know with the highest probabilities and that's why we record our statistics and trading in the middle of the range here is, isn't great i would say you want to see the breakout of the highs breakout of the lows or you know aim towards fading the boundaries so that's kind of how uh you know literally i'm trading it today and while remaining patient on bitcoin really exciting news obviously bybit have released tezos link litecoin and ethereum so i'm really looking forward to trade link by the way um but yeah that's obviously releasing today on bybit so i think you're going to get some nice volatility on those four altcoins i'm probably going to be focused on tezos and link i have missed trading them um so it'll be good to trade them on by bit anyway I'm, I'm looking forward to it and they, they get released today on the exchange so that, that should be fun um so we have that you know this is what we that's what we just what i'm trying to say here but 
when Bitcoin is going slow and you're not really presented with so many trades, there obviously are other assets to trade that be that within cryptocurrency, such as Link, or be this outside of cryptocurrency, such as, you know, go and trade gold, you know, gold, oil, stocks, uh, you know, everything you can think of, literally, I suppose. Those are some things I like to trade, but you know that you don't have to be only fixated on on bitcoin obviously there's a whole range of of assets out there that, that are absolutely tradable the technical analysis is the same across every asset obviously you know it's not just bitcoin <laughs> um so yeah that, that's kind of what i'm what i'm leaning towards today the, the mini range truly break to the upside uh obviously that well then if you break to the upside you're generally going to be looking up towards the high of this triangle if you break to the downside one hmm Obviously, you have bigger support around 11,300, let's be honest. Uh, so you have that $100 drop, 11,300, and then still that value area low, if you remember from last week's video, where I've, where I've been giving that around 11,000, uh, it's actually dropping to around 11,200. So you have that $100 increments to the downside. Really, to the upside, it's a lot more clearer because there's there's less resistance here locally. Well, you got obviously that, that high coming in around $11,750. So um, path of least resistance at the moment is up. But again, not really great trade to trade that in the middle of the range. You would really be looking to trade a, a nice breakout again with strength, not a weak breakout swing failure pattern, but a nice breakout of strength if that occurs. And obviously you can be looking to trade that up to the highs. Alternatively, you, you get rejected, you look to fade it, you can trade it back down to the low of your mini range. And I think this is this is the value that some people get with me where I do, do kind of... Uh, you know, I'm not a moon boy. I'm not an ultra. I'm not a perma bull. I'm not a perma bear. I will just trade the charts and give the levels that I feel are tradable. And, um, you know, it's it's very much a reactive style, which I think people will enjoy, which I'm, I'm, I'm happy about. Uh, so that, that really is my technical analysis of today. Got that, that range from yesterday, those levels. Oh, my. The, the way we got that to the dollar of that high, really, really nice. And obviously, the support held really well overall. Um, so that, that's the mini range. Um, I will end with this. Obviously, last night I done the first of the new series, which is the live trading swing trading. So if you want to get into my mind, what I done last night was I deleted everything on my chart, deleted everything. I done my technical analysis from scratch, and then I came up with a reason for a new trade. So I went over the entry, the reason why I placed my stop loss and the reason why I placed my take profits. Um... So it's, it's kind of like a new series that I'm doing, a swing trading series where I will delete everything, do my technical analysis from scratch and then give a trade setup. So it's a really interesting one. And, and if you're interested uh, in joining the Chart Champions group, uh, this is obviously for the Champions levels. These are some of the feedbacks. Generally, really positive. People really liked it. Uh, so you can sort of pause and read through some of the feedbacks if you would like. But generally, yeah, it was really well, well received. Um, so yeah, these are... These are some of the, the feedbacks that you can pause and read through. Really like this one. Um, guy joined two or three weeks ago and up 17% on his trading account. And that's what we like to see. Brilliant. But um, yeah, that, that's the feedback from last night's live stream being the first one last night. So uh, if you want to join and uh, catch up on last night's live stream to get the setup, know how I am actually going to be looking to trade this on a swing perspective, uh, then yeah, I think that it's nice because it's it's a lot more slower. It's a a slow style of trading so to speak it's not in here trading mini ranges it's, it's waiting for a trade that hopefully lasts you know a good week two weeks and maybe a month uh so it's a slower pace of trading but the technicals are still great so uh yeah that's if you're interested and i suppose i'm just going to say once more thank you everybody um if you have enjoyed the video as always appreciate a like down below and um, i know there's always going to be dislikes so let's let's try and beat the dislikers by giving a like if you've enjoyed the video i hope that you have a brilliant week ahead monday morning 9 30 for me um i'm looking forward to the week hope you are too have a brilliant one and let's crush it on these charts thank you everybody and goodbye